I grew up in England in an ear, believe it or not, we didn't have television. Uh, I was eight years old before we got a little TV, and I'm so glad because it sparked my imagination. I knew I started to draw, you know, just to not be bored, you know. And I knew I had a talent even at that age. And then we immigrated to America. My father got a job with DuPont, and I settled in Chad's Ford. Went to Chad's Ford School, and I saw Wyeth paintings all over the place. I'm like, wow, you know, fell in love with art. I really wanted to teach art, so I ended up getting my master's degree and ended up at Archer Academy, and, and it's been a great career. Right now, we're in a world uh, where technology is just overcoming these kids, and, and, and nothing's coming out this way. Everything's coming in this way, and, and uh, our electronic narcotics, I like to call it. And when they're actually doing something with their hands, with their minds, creative problem solving, they just eat it up, and uh, it seems like the more this technology expands, the more they need what I'm trying to impart. He is very creative and definitely kind of does things his own way, and um, it does take a lot of getting used to, but he really does make you a lot better. As Like, I've grown a lot as an artist from his um, teaching. I learn a lot from them. It is a give and take, in a way. They teach me a lot. They think I'm kind of have a young attitude and, and, and I'm always positive and they, they love it. The dude is insane. I love him. Like he's my favorite teacher. Like he's like Mr. New is just awesome. Before I took his class, I never knew like how to even like draw like a house. I just drew like stick figures and stuff. And now it's like I'm creating like these beautiful, amazing paintings. And like I'm just like amazed by like everything I've learned in just like two and a half years of having him. He's kind of really good at helping you, like, improve your own interpretation, not just tell you what to do, but let you discover it for yourself, which is really hard to do, but he manages to execute that. I think you can be an art educator and not work uh, as, as a serious practicing artist, but I think you are a better, much more dynamic art educator if they see that that's what you're devoted to yourself in, in, in your life. So it's been great balance, you know. I think I was given a gift to teach, an obligation to teach. I could look at success stories from my Archbishop students. It's incredible. I think your goal as a teacher is to have students supersede you. And I have had so many students supersede me. I'm happy what I've done, but immensely proud. The whole idea of love, love what you're doing, hopefully love the dynamic, is something that you strive for in, in this profession. I could retire and be, be happy and, and, and uh, after 42 years of teaching, but there's still joy, and there's still joy working with, with uh, young people. I have a spring in my step all the time.